Hello, my beautiful people. So, how are you guys doing today? So, Big Rob is back in her kitchen with her bonnet on, whatever, whatever. So, before I can continue, y'all know what to do. That is to, to go on over there and to subscribe. Open those notification bells. Make sure you like this video. Fat thumbs up and share, share, share. So, today... I am going to be doing stuffed shells. I found this ingredient. I found this recipe that I like on Facebook. Okay. So I'm going to be trying it out for the first time myself. Now, you can actually stuff these particular shells with anything. You don't have to go out your way. It's an easy meal. I'm doing it with hamburger meat. I'm going to show you exactly how I'm going to be stuffing but you could stuff it with any type of seafood, any type of poultry, such far so on. So let's get started. As you can see, my hamburger meat is going here. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and let that do what it do. So once that, go ahead and, you know, get that nice little brown color to it. You go ahead and rinse that grease out because I always bring this to my, bring this to you guys' attention. This is what cause causes. There's nothing wrong with red meat. You have to drain it. I mean, oh, nothing today is good for you. Not even the air that you walk in because we all have cancer cells. You know, those cancer cells eventually opens up. One, when you're eating the wrong food, and um, that's it, that's all. You have to watch what you eat. Watch the clog arteries, drain your food. I do a lot of shakes, though. I'm going to start. I brought me some fruit. You know, I went to this Korean grocery store today, over here in downtown here. Believe it or not, guys. It was inexpensive, but there was one thing. They didn't know English, so I could not find a noodle that I really wanted to stuff my this particular meal with. So I found something that I think that I can stuff with. So we're going to give it a try, okay? It's all going down the same wooden pipe. Yeah. So this store was uh, was not expensive at all. I'm going to start making that my grocery store. Okay, because ShopRite is getting a little pricey, and so is Walmart. Walmart used to be all right with me, you know, with the condiments. Now they get this. I don't know about that. Y'all excuse my appearance. I, you know, I, this is what it is. But this chop meat is cooking. Y'all see that? Keep your eye on it. You don't want it to clunk up on you. You know, let it cook. And also, guys, I went to the, um, to the city yesterday over there near the World Trade, the WTC. If you don't know what that means, it means the World Trade Center. Beautiful. Mother and daughter day. We had to go take care of some business. And I was vlogging. My daughter is so limited. So I didn't even upload it. I, I had to vlog on my own because she's not into this. So, I can't make her be into it. So, it's what it is. So, I didn't even upload it. Because she didn't let me do what I had to do. But I am going to upload some pictures. You guys can see the pictures. It is so beautiful. They had so many different vendors. So much food. I mean, it was a beauty. It was a beauty. They really, I mean. And, and there's no parking at all. There's no parking. You might as well take the train. That's why a lot of people, um, leave her, my my boy, my man is from Manhattan. A lot of people don't even own cars down there. They'd rather just take the subway or the train because there's no parking. My daughter worked at a hospital. Lennox, was it Lennox? She was paying $37 a night. And that was a discount only because she worked at the hospital. So she was paying more of her and fee than she was making. So she don't miss that job. So I'm going to go ahead and do, let it do what it do. I'll be, I'll return. Okay, guys. So 
as you can see, my meat is done. It has been drained. I'm going in now with my seasonings. That's how that goes. Okay? Y'all look at this recipe now. Now I'm going in with Jess. No. It's called Rotel Sauce. It's made with diced tomatoes and Yeah. Dice, basically diced tomatoes. Looks like you got some peppers up in there. So go ahead and let that do what it do. Just if you can smell my kitchen, it looks and smells so good. Also, I'm going in with some Kobe Jack. Stand it like that. Now, what I'm going to do is throw just a little bit of Prego sauce. That's how that go. And more cheese. I was going to put sour cream, but I don't have it, and I was not running back to the store. So that is very optional. You can put as much cheese as you like. I love cheese. So let that go ahead and blend together. I'll show you the next step. Okay, guys. So keep in mind, when you are stuffing, it's going to always be a messy job. So now, these are the shells. I let them cool off a little bit where they almost broke on me. Which they did. But honey, I'm still going to use my shells. See? They almost broke. So anyway, you take it. And you go just like this. You could stuff it. One moment, guys. This is very hard to do. Not an easy task. Might as well open it up. Just like that. You see that? That looks good. This bag is very hot, so if you could wear gloves, put some gloves on. So, that's the first noodle. We're going to go ahead and close it back up, just like that. Put it right there. When you want to do something, it never come out correctly. All right, so this is how you do it. I'm going to finish stuffing, and I'll be back. Okay, guys, so my shells are stuffed. Which was, it's a very hard task. It's very messy, but you can do it. And there you have it. I'm going to go ahead and throw some cheese on top. Throw as much cheese as you like. Your pleasure.
put it in a 350 degree oven. Remember, the noodles was only cooked two in an adult day status. So, everything is already cooked. So, we're basically just letting that cheese melt. And the meal is ready to go down your astafiscus. Is that how you pronounce it? Astafiscus. Astafiscus. So, y'all be prepared for the finishing touch. Okay, guys. Masterpiece. There we have it. My stuffed shells. Okay. Those are my stuffed shells. Just came out the oven. So they're pretty hot. But you can see them. So you saw what I stuffed it with. If you want the ingredient, you can always uh, comment down below. All right. And also, guys, you can find all my social media accounts underneath my description box below. Go on over there to my TikTok. Check me out. I'm doing my thing over there. Y'all leave comments. Okay. Um, you know, I want to say this before I uh, go. On TikTok the other day, uh, I don't know the guy. He's a TikToker. But he had a point. Why don't we... Uh, how can I put it? Why do we watch celebrities when you can't even support the people that you grew up with? You don't know these celebrities. You're leaving comments. Is it that you don't want to see the person grow? I'm going to end it on that note. Know that I love you. And God love you too. Peace.